Mr. 25.25, what does R dash to couldn't to diff mean and what should I set it to? Well, before we decide that, let's learn what each one means. Dash stands for delayed auto shift, and it's the delay in between your first piece movement and continuously moving. If you pull up a notepad and hold a key down, there's a slight pause in between the first press and each one onward. Setting on DAS is the hardest, but choose a DAS that you're comfortable with. Many top players will set their DAS somewhere from 5 to 8 frames or 83 to 133 milliseconds. If you think your pieces are too slippery, increase your DAS. If it's not moving as fast as you want it to, then you should lower it. ARR stands for Auto Repeat Rate, and it's like the second part of DAS. After the first pause, each time after that uses ARR. For beginners, set this between 1-2 to two frames so you're in control of your pieces. At some point you will have to switch to 0 ARR because it's much more efficient than waiting for a piece to move. With 0 ARR, you can practice on making less inputs and work on finesse, which I may cover in a later video. DCD stands for Dash Cut Delay, and this is only needed for a few cases. DCD prevents you from moving your piece once you've placed one down, so it's kind of like a cooldown timer. If you're in the habit of misdropping because you pressed too early, then you can set it to a few frames, but if not, you should leave it at zero. SDF stands for Soft Drop Factor, and it's how fast your piece soft drops. Choosing how fast it goes is based on what you think is more important. For beginners, times 20 is a good start, and you can put it to times 10 if it's too fast. If it's fast enough for you, then you can choose between times 40 or infinite. Times 40 allows you to tuck floating areas easier, but infinite allows faster spin clears. Most top players will have all their sliders set to the very right, and their DAS changes in between each person. If you're having trouble deciding on a good DAS, try to make it slower on average. If you can play 6 frames fast but not slow, then increase it to 6.5. And thank you for watching.